Diabetes is a, a difficult disease to have, but its real danger comes from development of complications. I was diagnosed with uh, type 2 diabetes about two years ago. They tell me I have diabetes, I don't feel really differently. I'm taking medication to manage it, but I don't really know of what, I, I, guess, I guess I don't know um, when this is going to be a problem for me. And it's sort of hard to really make myself feel like I'm in danger. When you keep telling people if they don't take care of themselves, there's a chance they'll get complications. They don't believe you after five or ten years because nothing has happened clinically yet. The complications that my doctor talked about that were possible for me in the future as a diabetic was um, heart disease, um, kidney disease, um, loss of sight. Um, I have friends who've had amputations. So a lot of really scary things that um, can happen for people with diabetes. I've seen people develop these complications and when I see them occurring, I get a knot in the pit of my stomach knowing what's in store for these individuals. Diabetes is a major problem within the VA healthcare system. Nearly one in four veterans receiving care from the VA has diabetes. And so caring for diabetes is an incredibly important and costly issue within the VA healthcare system. What we need and what we have developed is a test that will predict those who are susceptible to differentiate them from people who are not so susceptible. My laboratory found that specific toxic products are formed in greater quantities in people who get complications. We subsequently developed a blood test that measured these products over a long period of time in individual patients with diabetes. We then have applied that to large complication outcome studies in diabetes that allowed us to predict who would get the complications, who would not. And with this data now, we have created databases where we can measure these products in a person's blood with diabetes. We can plug it into an algorithm, one for type 1, one for type 2, and we can give them a risk score over 10 years or so of developing kidney disease and cardiovascular disease, which is the major killer, accounts to, for about 70% of the deaths in diabetes. I took the Preventage blood test recently um, and it came back with a risk factor of 36% chance to develop kidney disease. Knowing what's going on now when I can't see it or feel it is pretty powerful. It's very powerful. When you get into information that is actually your individual information, that's the thing that sparks change and can make someone really feel motivated to make, um, make strides in their life that are different than before. I need to make important steps now because I may not get to be able to make those steps later on. It may be too late. Here we have the opportunity to impact the lives of hundreds of millions of people around the world. It's an exciting moment. We're now poised to take this to market. We're poised. The goal is to get this test in the hands of every doctor in the country or perhaps in the world so they can use this to make uh, the, the best possible decisions individually for their patients. It would change the whole paradigm in treating diabetes and could substantially reduce complications. And the healthcare system wins tremendously because we're, we're even if half the people start using this uh, test and taking appropriate action, it saves on the average of $14 billion a year for the healthcare system over the next 20 years. My hope is this will become what's called the standard of care. That means that a person who tests positive for complication risk will get specific treatments that will prevent those complications and really make people healthier over a long period of time.